Down, so take your feet. All right, you're just gonna take one foot. Let's go around 15 circles, one way. Try to get a little bit of distance every time you do a circle, right? Down, up, high, around, all right? Switch directions. Don't grab with your toes, try to rotate through your ankle. For some of you guys, like me, this muscle, tired already. All right, other, other ankle. Might hear some clicking, switch directions. Try not to grab with your toes. Try not to drive that with your big toe. Try to drive it with your ankle, with the joint. All right, then we're gonna get into the knees a bit. Hold, please. All right, we're gonna get into the knees a bit. Stick your feet together. We're just gonna move the knees side to side, 10, 15 times. Fish. Let's go a couple more. Now we're gonna go circles. Let's do about 15 of those. All right? Doesn't have to be as big a circle as mine, it could be bigger. It just depends on where you're at. All right, let's switch directions. Last one. All right, let's take the hips. Do a little bump, bump, bump. When you go back, make sure you can feel that in the hamstrings a little bit. When you go forward, make sure you can feel it in the hip flexors a little bit. Let's go three more in this direction. Two more. Take the hands. Couple more this direction. Two, one. Now flip it around. Couple more this direction. One, two. Take the elbows. Go out and in. Out and in. Two more, two, one, go in and out. Through the elbows, couple more. Take the shoulders, go forward or back. Forward, maybe higher. Maybe lower. Maybe shorter. Couple more, two, one, go the other way. Shorter, bigger, couple more. Good, 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 good. Take that neck. Stevie Wonder, that beast. All right, you might hear some crunching, you might feel some weirdness there. It's because a lot of times, we don't get that neck to go back here anymore. All right, everything is here, here, here. All right, so it should do you some good, and you might find that that is painful for you. If it is, you know you need to be working on that posture. All right, posture will tell you a lot about a person. All right, we're gonna go into reverse lunge and rotate. So we're gonna to rotate to the front leg side. So if I step back to my right, I'm gonna to rotate to the left.
Right? Make sure that knee is tracking right on top of that ankle. Make sure right, you're lowering yourself through the glute. Right? You're not lowering yourself through gravity or through that front knee. Right? Sit back on that glute. Let's go one more each way. Right here. And this way. All right. Next, we're just going to go boxers bounce. We're going to go really quick. We're going to go about 20 seconds. Shift weight from one side to the left side. So, whoa. All right. If you want to go front to back, go front to back. I want to hear, you want to hear your feet hitting the ground on this one. So it's almost like you want to stomp right now. Because this isn't about boxing, this is about warming up right now. Right? I call it a boxer's bounce, that ain't what it really is. Boxer's bounce, you don't want to stomp, you want to go quick. Frankenstein's. Next. Swing that leg. Right, try to keep that leg straight. As you swing it, try to keep your torso up as you swing. Right, if you can't do both of those things, maybe don't swing so high. I can do great with that guy. This guy, not as much. All right, one side, especially you guys who've been injured before, one side's probably gonna go higher than the other side. And that's all right. Three more each way. There's three. Here's two. Here's one. Good. Uh, crossing jacks. Everything is out, everything is in and crossed. Everything is out, everything is in and crossed the other way. All right, we got 20 of them. Night to air, 20. All right. All right, butt kicks. So today we're gonna jog it. All right, so instead of just going here, today we want to run a little bit with it. Uh, I'm going to do a few. I'll tell you when we're down our last five. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, crossing lunge. So keep that front shin vertical as we step behind. And we're gonna alternate sides. If you wanna reach with it, you can, but with the presumption that you're keeping that front leg, that front shin vertical, right? If you reach, and that starts happening, maybe we don't reach anymore. If you reach, go long. Try to extend your arms up and out. Let's go two more this way. We're gonna go side to side hops, then we're gonna go front to back hops, and we'll move it. All right. Five, four, three, two, flip to front.
Three, two, one. Reverse lunge. Again, we're going to open up up top. So, I'm going to go here. Sit. Try to get this to go super long. Come back. Here's a secret of the fit. All right. Most fit people don't try to move fast first. They try to move slow and control everything. Right? And that allows them to speed up movement because you're in control. Right? Think of a car. Right? If you have no idea how to steer the car, does it make sense? To go faster? Nope. All right, because all you're doing is putting yourself at a higher risk of having an accident because you don't have control of your car anyway. Let's go last ones. All right, if you don't have control over your body, but you try to make me go faster, you don't have control. So why would that high performance happen? It won't, all right? It's just inevitably you run into an accident. All right, so here we go. So we've got five exercises. They're gonna go 35 seconds, hold on. They're gonna go 35 seconds on, 25 seconds off. All right, so the first exercises, if you want a drink, you can get a drink. No. Um, so First exercise is gonna be a little box um, jump that we've done before. So we make a little box, land, 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 all right? So we do our little box. All right, next exercise. Spider-Man's, up to you. If you wanna add a push-up, but the idea, get that knee to touch outside that elbow, right? Don't just, Bring it like that, right? Try to get that position. If you wanna have a push-up, more than welcome to. Next round of exercise, we have push-ups. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about getting that in there. Uh, next one, skaters. Boom, boom, right? Stabilize, stabilize. Um, fourth exercise, posterior plank. So you're gonna lay on your back. Idea, arms down, right? Keep your head on the ground, toes on the ground, head on the ground, maybe upper back. And then you're just gonna hold that position for 35 seconds. All right, and then the last one, toe taps and grab a ball. All right, here we go, first one, broad jump. We're off and running, All right? Think of that box. Think of that backwards jump as being your limiting factor, right? The forward jump isn't. So jump only as far as you know you can jump backwards. Maybe it's, maybe it's just here, right? There we go, last one. All right, so next exercise is that Spider-Man. We got 20 seconds. Ah. Oh. Ah. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. I'm not gonna do my push up here. Elbow's gonna touch my knee every single time. Sorry, knee's gonna touch my elbow. I'm gonna lift my foot up off the ground. Right? The idea is to get there, not to go fast. Right? If you go fast and you never get there, what's the point of going fast? 10 seconds. We got a break. So, a lot of people are so 
so enamored with going fast, but not enamored with getting to the goal. Um, it's almost like fast outweighs the destination for some reason. Um, all right, we've got our skaters. I don't know why I'm in that map here, but all right, stabilize, stabilize, boom, boom. Hang out for a second if you can. Jump through your abs, not through this foot, right? So I'm not trying to go with this. I'm trying to go here and here, right? Here and here. If you want to up the intensity of this, you jump higher. You jump further and stabilize. Make it harder to stabilize. All right, don't go faster. Make it harder to stabilize. Whether that be going up or out further. All right, that's how you up the intensity of that. Not faster. Posterior plank. This one's just a hold. All right, toes, arms, heels. Sorry, heels. Try to get. Squeeze your butt, heel, uh, toes towards you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. All right, this should light that whole backside up. If you want to, you go here. This makes it just a little bit easier. This makes it a little bit more difficult. Maybe get your head off the ground. Nah, don't do that. Toe tap, so grab a ball or, I don't know, whatever you want. All right, a jug of milk. All right, um, and it's just gonna be boom, boom, all right. Here we go. So it's a light tap on that ball. Don't float. Because this doesn't do anything, right? That's just jogging, right? We're looking for precision and actually getting, again, to a destination. Looking for a little bit of accuracy and control over your body. We do it again. All right, so now it's, now it's time to get a drink. Now it's the time to, I don't know what that was. Now it's time to reset so you can get another good rounding. seconds and then we start back up with that little box jump a little square jump we'll call it ten seconds three two one here we go
Good, good, good. Go right into Spider-Man. Right, right into the Spider-Man. Can we just talk? Here we go, five, four, three, two, Again, if you want to add the push up, be my guest, be my guest. Should be able to hang out there, right? Instead of just smashing your elbow, should be able to hang out there, visit for a count, relax, relax, relax. Um, and not just swing your, up, your knee up into your elbow and smash it and then come back. Right? Idea is to have these movement patterns in our, in our arsenal. Right? Uh, where are we at? Skaters. Right, again, you want to up the intensity of this. Right? We jump higher. We jump further. We don't jump faster. Good. Next one is that posterior plank. How do we get our shoulder blades to squeeze more in that bottom position. Right? Driving the elbows into the ground is going to be one option there. All right, here we go. Heels down, elbows down. Get your butt off the ground. Try to get your shoulder blades off the ground if you can. Squeeze your butt. Try to get your shoulder blades off the ground. Keep your head on. Butt squeezed. And we're good. Woo, I like that one. And we got toe taps with the ball. How are we doing any time? Stay ready, are you ready? Here we go. Another thing on this, don't lean back, right? Stay straight up and down. Another minute and a half. Here we go, one more round.
20 seconds in, into that box jump. All right, 10 seconds. Bow, three, two, one, here we go. If you find there's something, just ain't sitting right in the landing, make the box smaller, right? Because the bigger we make this box, the harder it's gonna be to stabilize, especially when we're transitioning laterally or backwards, because they're both not, in terms of how we move a lot, they're both not uh, normal. Last one. Good. All right. We don't move laterally intentionally. All right. We don't move backwards intentionally. We do every day. Right? We do both of those. But we don't train that way. Spider-Man's next. All right. You gotta ask yourself why. Good. Why don't we train that way? Here we go. Pay attention to what your form is like in the upper body here. Are you all hunched over like this? Right? Or do you have a pretty good push-up position right now? Right? Shoulders down and back, abs tight on top of our hands, not out in front. Three seconds, two, one, good. All right, skate this is next. All right, pay attention to your posture within your movements. All right, within your movements. How's your posture while you're doing, exercise, while you're exercising? All right, do you forget all about it? Because if you get out about it, guess what you're doing? You're training suboptimally, and you're telling your body that it's okay to be in those bad positions. All right, every time you make a rep that you know something was wrong in that rep, and you say, oh, that was good enough, your body doesn't know the difference. Your body's like, okay, they're saying that's a good enough pattern to be in. So I'll read, good. I'll reinforce that pattern. Right? Do I want to reinforce bad patterns? Do I want to reinforce bad posture? I think we do enough of that during the day to really want to avoid that during our workouts. Right? Like, that reverse plank. Here we go. Butt squeeze, abs tight. All right, shoulder blades together. Learn to breathe. Abs, keep the abs tight. Drive the elbows into the ground. Try to get your, your back off the ground. 10 seconds here. You should be diving deep into the ground with your elbows. Four, three, two, one. Blah. All right, last one here is toe taps. All right, a lot of people think I talk too much about how to exercise, right? If I'm not talking about how to exercise, how are we improving? If you're not questioning what you could improve in those reps, are you really improving? You say, oh, that's good enough. Is that improving? Toe taps, here we go. Oddly enough, this is probably my least favorite exercise out of all of them, at least five. I don't know why. I think it's because I can't explode off this left leg still. Two minutes, 
So we got five new exercises. We're gonna, we're probably gonna bring up the intensity of this just a little bit, right, with these exercises. So if you need a drink, now's that time. If you need to sit, now's that time. Because when we go, these ones, you're probably gonna be trying to catch your breath during that 25 second break, right? I'll tell you what, man. Social distancing. I think it's a different definition to different people. All right? Some people basically isolate themselves, which I was already doing, so it's not a huge deal for me. Um, but then other people think it means only gather at parks. Other people think it means, you know what, bring people to your house as long as it's 10 or less, which is what they said. So if you want to, if you want to follow guidelines, this guidelines should be clear cut. I don't know. I don't know. Enough politics. All right, first exercise. Uh, since I didn't show you within these two minutes, I'll show you one by one. First exercise, we're gonna replace that bone, this guy, right? That's our first. We'll do side side, I'll tell you when to switch. Here we go. One, and we go. Try to remain upright in the torso, even when you're bringing that hand down. So that means go through the leg to get there. One more, switch sides. Top jumps, all right? So think one at a time, knees go higher than the hips, all right? One at a time, maybe it's, all right, they just come up. Two, one, here we go. If you can bounce them off, like that, Cool. I ain't doing that. All 
Last one. Left exercise, drop squats. Feet together. Hop out, hop down. Here we go. Pay attention to what your feet are doing. You notice I say pay attention a lot. This is the antithesis of what most fitness routines are, where they just say, Go, go! You got it! You got it! You got what? You got what? Three, two, one. Good. We got a minute and a half. People keep saying, you got it. And yes, that's it. Like my boy Tony Bricks. That's it, that's it. How's that guy saying, that's it, that's it, when he's not even in front of the people, right? So, let's say you're in front of people and you give a rehearsed, that's it, that's it. Who in that group knows they're doing it right? And who in that group needs help? All right, if I'm here to help you move better, I gotta help you move better. So that means telling you what you can improve on. Right? Maybe you say, okay, yep, yeah, like that. But I'm not just gonna group chant, good job. Right? That's why I say pay attention. Right? Pay attention to what your feet are doing. Right? Are your feet, when you look down in that drop squat, are your feet still facing forward where you're facing, or did they turn out? Right? If they turn out, there's something wrong. Right? our natural movement, turn those feet out. Why? Right? We need to fix something. Right? That's why I say pay attention. Right? That's why I say pay attention. We got 10 seconds, then we're going to that reverse lunge and drive. Remember, bring that back knee up. Three, two, here we go. Pay attention to this knee. What's that knee doing? Switch sides. Last one. Going opposite, hand to opposite foot in that push up position. something and you practice it crappy what good does that do you 
right? If you practice guitar and you play the wrong chords and you don't know why they're the wrong chords, how is that helping you? Good. Oh, we got next top jump. Woo All right. If you shoot baskets and you miss every single time and you keep shooting and you keep missing and you never make it, how is that helping? Three, two, one, touch ups. Minute and a half, and we got one more round.
good. Next one's gonna be that push up. Watch your hands. Right. You might need to reposition your hands when you go. Right? That's okay. Right? I don't want to do my push up with my hands internally rotated. So I'm going to flip them out before I do my push up. Top jumps is next. All right, I'm gonna regress my top jump as well. All right. If you wanna progress it, if you wanna bounce, 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 that's up to you. All right. But I'm probably not gonna go high, very, very high at all. Here we go. Drop squat is next. There's drop squats for the wing, y'all. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Last one. Woo! Walk around for a second. I can't deny it. Legs, try to find the mat. Wide stance, bring your feet out to meet them. Just hang out there. What I want you to do is roll your shoulders in, roll your shoulders out. In, out. Hang out. Sit into your oven. Sit more. Shoulders back. Come back up. Awesome. Sit on one leg, on the knee. Bring that other leg long. Just kind of hang out. If we want to, hang out here. Just gonna stretch, boom, boom, boom. Long, long, long. Stand up, hands behind your back, lift them. Okay, 
what she has to say. You're welcome, Kay. Maybe switch hands, same thing. We're done. I take it out. Thanks for playing.